Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweet Peas. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a shamrock on your nails by only using a small blotting tool. So that is all you need for this design beyond, of course, your base color, which I have already put on. I'm using a green from yesterday's video, and then I'm going to be using a darker green acrylic paint for the art. So let's get right into it. Here I've already got my base color on, and now I am going in with my dotting tool and my green acrylic paint. As you can see here, I started off with making a heart with the dotting tool. So basically, it's like a V. I always start from the top. Well, most often I start from the top and then I just create a heart shape and for this you want to make three different clusters of that after that is done you kind of want to let that dry a little bit and move on to your next cluster at this point if you wanted to you could go ahead and do four clusters instead of three but I found three was much more manageable on the nail and for the space that we're working with and because of the dotting tools size and everything. If you have a smaller one, which I'm not really sure a smaller one exists, but if it does, you might be able to get four in, but I felt like that was really squeezing it, and the three looks really cute in my opinion. So you're just going to repeat this all over your nail, or if you wanted to, you could have done this with a bigger dotting tool, and you could have just done one in the center of your nail. Really, it's up to you. Then you're just going to go in really, really carefully and dot a little stem from the middle coming out. And this part you definitely do have to be careful with, and I tried to keep it with the dotting tool for this video, but of course if you had a nail art brush on hand, you could easily just use your nail art brush and swoop it down a little bit. But for this, I kept it with the br with the dotting tool, and I just scattered it all over my nail, and I really like how this came out. I just wanted to fill in the edges a little bit to make it look like a complete pattern too. At this point, they don't have to be like precise or anything on the edges because you're only seeing a little bit of it. So don't stress that at all. But after that is dry, you can then apply your choice of top coat for this design. Today I actually went with a shiny top coat, but I then later actually mattified it. So I think what you're going to see on the blog today is mattified. I'm not 100% sure at this point, but I think so. But either way, it looks really fun and super easy as you guys can see. And I just did it with that dotting tool. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I will link everything that I used in the description box below as well as the exact dotting tool set as because they're inexpensive and they're from Amazon if you want to grab them. I've had them for um, four or five years probably and they have done really well. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other requests for nail art, let me know in the comments below and I will put them on the to-do list. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys back here very soon with another new video. Bye!